Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to renew your Norton's antivirus. So, at the moment I've got Norton's antivirus installed on my computer and after one year, the antivirus will expire, right? So this antivirus is going to expire in the nine, next nine days. So I want to get this renewed. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. But personally, I normally go to Amazon and I purchase the products from Amazon. So I'm purchasing the same product I had previously. Might say 2019, might say 2020 version. But normally I try and buy exactly the same product that I purchased before. And this one happens to be a five license, right? So I can install it on my desktop computer, on my laptop and so forth. So once this product comes in the post, because I normally get an activation code in the post, I prefer that, um, you'll have a code in there. So now you've got to figure out where do you go on your Norton's antivirus to insert that code. So you need to log into your Norton's account, then go to help here, click on help. So you load up the software, make sure you're logged into your account and then go to help here. And when you go to help, you want to click on this uh, option here, enter product key. So when you click on enter product key, it will go to the Norton server and then you simply enter your product key uh, into the the uh, prompt here so I'm going to enter my one I'm going to have to hide the code itself that I'm entering but um, you'll be able to just simply enter your code so this code is normally quite long unfortunately so I'm going to have to type it in quite carefully and you're going to have to bear with me while we type it in and we're going to see what happens afterwards so there's only a well I'll say only a few letters to type in but normally it's quite random and most of the time i get it wrong the first time but let's see maybe i'll get it right let's click next let's see what happens so it's asking me for my password <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, let me just grab my password quickly uh let's see so this will take one second let me just get my password for Norton's so you need to remember your passwords so you do a password reminder you can go to Norton's website and grab the uh, Password reminder as well, right if you've forgotten your password or you can click here for the username and password so I put in a password and Hopefully We should see it Activate This says enjoy hassle-free ongoing protection year to year. So I don't want to do a subscription to Norton's. So I'm going to skip this. And Norton's has been installed. I'm using one of the five licenses and then I'm going to skip this. And then normally I'll go to my laptop or my other device and install it there separately. Now I've got 366 days remaining, right? Um, on this particular license. Right, so there's any sort of security issues, any sort of stuff like that, you can just go click the buttons and fix them. So I use Norton's, that's probably, the for me, the best. It's the most stable, it doesn't eat too much memory. It seems to work pretty fine and it's I think it's a pretty good piece of software to have for security. So that's how you go about renewing your license, right? There's a few different ways to do it. Uh, I typically don't go to the Norton's website and renew it and then do an automatic renew because it tends to cost more that way, right? So if you buy the product from Amazon and you've got exactly the same product as you previously purchased, then you can just go ahead and go to the help and enter your product key here and then you're good to go. So let's close this. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.